Hello, sports fans. Ralph Luck here. Looking pretty goofy, I know, but I wanted to give you some uh, tips for being in your RV or even van, uh, whether it's vacation or like me living the nomadic lifestyle in the winter. And tonight here in the uh, Coconino County National Forest near I usually list that my location is Munns Park. I'm actually about three miles north of that, which is about 20 miles south of Flagstaff uh, in the lovely forest area. But tonight it's supposed to finally drop below freezing. Uh, that will happen like around, I think, 10 o'clock. Um, and so it's gonna be a chilly one. Uh, right now the temperature is 39 degrees and it is about I'd have to guess 630 about an hour after sunset right now the sun is setting about 530 it goes behind the uh, tall 50 foot pine trees making it pretty much dark around five and uh, but I wanted to give you some tips for being in the cold now no tip number one the easiest thing is oh let me just run my generator uh, and periodically depending on your solar and your batteries and everything the rv propane heater can run on its own from 12 volt and draw from your propane and you can set that mine only goes as low as 60 i wish it went down to about 50 because 50 would be a good kick on for me but i could leave that on 60 and leave it on all night if my batteries are properly charged, I wouldn't need to run my generator all night. Sure, it would draw the power off there, but I could just kick in the generator if need be in the morning. So number one is run your propane at a certain temperature, 60, 70, all night long. Be comfortable, set it at 80. Uh, that get, would get me sweating, but that's option number one if you have an RV like I do with an onboard propane heater. Uh, what I do, and I'm not going to go into the buddy heater, the diesel heaters, other things like that, that van lifers have, they could tell you about that. I'm going to tell you what I do. So step one, knowing it's going to get freezing, it's already 39. It was an only high of like 49 today, 50 maybe. Um, this is what I do. So step one, during the day, I'm fine. That sun comes in. I've got all the windows closed up except for the front door where Ninja wants to go out during the day and roam, although she sleeps a lot during the day. Uh, she did go out for several hours, so my screen door is open, letting in that 45-degree temperature inside. So, yeah, I'll have to have on pretty much just a T-shirt and a hoodie and my sweatpants and some good wool socks. That gets me through the day. Sunsets, now it's a game-changer because we're starting to drop into... Uh, the low 40s and into the uh, 30s and again going to get below uh, 32 tonight I think the low is set to be 30 28 so we're going to be a little below freezing so I don't want to waste all my propane by having it kick I mean the nice thing when you have it set at a temperature you could it's going to kick on kick off obviously just like a, a home heater uh, but I'd rather not burn up all my propane. Uh, that's a convenience I have as an option. If you're camping for the weekend, hey, what the heck, why not? Uh, the thermostat also has a timer on it. So I could set it for 75 degrees, two hours, and that's another option. Turn that on like that when you go to bed, nice and toasty and warm. But again, here's what I do. Once it starts getting colder, I throw on my thermal top underneath my t-shirt, then I've got my t-shirt hoodie, and then I'll put on my beanie. And then I'll put on my thermals bottoms underneath my sweatpants as well. That keeps me warm to a certain point. And then as it gets later in the evening, seven, eight, nine, uh, at some point, it's gonna start getting a little chilly inside to where I'm gonna throw on my generator number one because I don't wanna drain my batteries 
and this is a good opportunity to go from 80% back up to 100 for a little bit. So I'll throw on my generator for about an hour, which is not necessary, but I do it to kind of not only top off the power, but to uh, keep it at 100 with what I'm about to tell you, which is then I'll throw on my propane heater at about 80. And again, 80 gets me sweating, especially if I'm bundled up like this. The biggest thing is layers, layers, layers. Um, it's easy to deal with winter, very hard to deal with summer. You can only strip off so much clothes in the summer and turn on fans and go to air conditioning. Uh, winter's easy. You layer up. I could, I could throw on a long sleeve uh, shirt instead of the short sleeve t-shirt I have on. I could throw on two t-shirts. I could throw on, uh, you know, uh, let's see. Well, I don't know if I could do much more layers than that or the thermals and sweatpants. Um, and then there's another option is get out my zero degree sleeping bag, which currently is rolled up in the corner because I haven't needed it yet. But that thing I could climb into while I'm watching, of course, YouTube videos from my, some of my favorite YouTubers uh, and be in that sleeping bag. Hasn't gotten that cold yet. Maybe after tonight, I might do that as an option. But right now, uh, being all layered up and climbing under my uh, blanket in bed is sufficient. To be off topic, to let you know what this guy is, is I got tired on my other headlamp, uh, which I always at night have a headlamp on inside, outside, uh, because I might need to use the restroom real quick and I've got all the other lights off. Instead of trying to find the switch, turn them on, I just click on my headlight. But my other headlamp was three AAA batteries, and that would only last so many weeks. Then you'd have to put in new AAAs. Uh, I got this thing at Walmart. I think it's an Energizer. Is that what it says? Um, I love this thing. Number one, you could plug in a couple of batteries and run it off batteries. But the easiest thing that I do is it comes with a rechargeable battery inside. And on the back side here is the it comes with a cable, little USB charger. It uses one of the universal ones. So even the one it came with, I don't use. I use the cable that came with 10 other rechargeable things that I have. Plop this thing on, has a red light showing it's charging. And what I love is a green light that shows when it's done and ready. That's fantastic. Always bugs me when you have things like, uh, uh, let me show you that. That's a rechargeable light, solar powered. And it's on one of these little cables that are bendable. So I've bent it to be a hook up there. And all kinds of modes, including the epileptic seizure mode. And I typically use that... Uh, I don't know when I'm done with the big bright light here in the bedroom, but that thing you charge it doesn't have an indicator showing it's charging, doesn't let you know when it's done charging. So that kind of bugs me. Anyway, this was a Walmart special for about 35 bucks. Cool thing is these brackets here, I can pull this off. And now that's my handheld flashlight outside. Again, it's got a high, medium, low, setting and the strobe setting so this thing's very and then a clip on here to clip on your shirt your hoodie whatever and be hands-free so it's pretty cool um i really recommend it but going back to winter mode that's all i'll typically do uh again i'll bundle up preheat the rv uh around bedtime Turn it on 80 for an hour with the generator running so that generators not only charge the batteries up to 100, but uh, as I block my face here, which is probably a good thing, I should probably just wear a mask. I'll be one of those people that wear a mask inside or outside while I'm alone walking down the sidewalk because that evil COVID could just sneak up on you and get you, even though we know masks don't work.
unless it's an N95. Anyway, off topic like I normally do, I call we call those commercials. My friend Rojo, uh, or, or was it his wife, Lisa? But when we go off tangent during conversations, uh, we all now say, oh, we had a little commercial break there. <laughs> so um, I'll stay bundled up and I'll go into the covers, I'm fine. Again, if it starts getting too cold, I'll break out my zero degree or probably even negative 30 degree, I don't know what it is, uh, army sleeping bag. Thanks to the army, I've got that sleeping bag, uh, literally, uh, during my time in the army. Shh, I was supposed to return it. Um, and that thing, I'll strip down to like, just my chonies, just my underwear, because being in that thing, I don't care how cold it is outside, is toasty warm. So that's an option. Again, it depends on uh, your duration of stay, what you're staying in, whatnot. But I think the easiest thing is layers. Um, those with the diesel heater, I know some that turn it on low, like in a van, and keep it on all night. But uh, here's my other heater. Oh, and by the way, one other thing I'm doing is I've got a little uh, something I'm going to order. It's a 12-volt throw blanket. So it's not like a full-size blanket. It wouldn't cover my toes to my neck, but it's pretty much going to cover most of my body. It's meant to be like when you're out at sporting events or when you're traveling in your car in the front seat and you want a blanket that's going to heat up. So it's basically an electric blanket that runs off of uh, DC power. So again, I found that I think on Amazon for 20 bucks or so, and I'm going to give that a shot. Uh, and that's one of those things you could turn that on low, run just a little bit of the juice off your balder. battery which you can see i'm charging my phone right now um or a lot of you have jackeries anyway portable batteries and plug that into that and run that little heater all night if you want now one other thing that happens during the evening is as i'm laying in bed under the blankets ninja will come nudge me, let me know she wants to get under the blankets, and she crawls down between my legs. So now I've got this little heater down between my legs, keeping me warm, and I'm keeping her warm. Symbiotic relationship. And as you can see, I'm laying on my stomach on my bed. She's not even in her bed, which is all those colorful blankets. She's right there on pretty much on my thighs, bundled up. Apparently she likes it, and uh, it definitely keeps me warm. That's like it's like a little heater on my legs, and I'm sure that I'm radiating heat to her as well. Um, although, or would that be conduction? I think it would be conduction, convection, conduction, radiation. Uh, all terms from my firefighter days. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give you a, a little quick tip with a couple commercials in between uh, and let you know what I do in the cold weather. And, uh, you know, there, you know, it's all about layers, all about bundling, but also thermal underwear. Can't say enough about it. You can get a cheap pair like I've done. I've got numerous cheap pairs, so I'll wear those for a couple of days, toss them, and when I say a couple of days, it's usually put them on in the evening, take them off in the morning. Um, but you could also get some great quality thermals, and uh, those will really heat you up. Alrighty, sports fans, thank you for watching. If you haven't already and you like watching these videos, please hit subscribe. It really helps the channel. Uh, that way you get alerts when I've posted new videos, which are usually once, twice a week. And... Uh, also, if you did like this video, please hit the like button and give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your watching, and you all take care.